Damn, GP doing work now. Got Titanic Hydra. Alright. That was good for you to walk away and not bring the fish onto your teammates. Alright, you guys have no wave. Do you guys look to be rotating to mid? You almost have your redemption. Damn, dude, you're fed as fuck. Hmm. Okay, you guys should be able to take this tower for free. Nice. Alright, so now that they're respawning. You guys can probably take the second tower. Oh my goodness. That Yasuo has a death wish. Yeah, that Yasuo is really bad. Three hooks, three dead people. Nice. GG. Alright, so some things that I want you to take away from this session is first your item build. So like I said before, Redemption Rush, uh, Locket Rush, I have Equinox, it's your best friends. If you're opting, when you return back to base, for your first buy to be Boots, make sure that you capitalize on the Boots by pushing out your lane and then roaming to mid or roaming with your jungle and trying to make a pick together. If you're you know, staying in lane the whole time, it's better to just get that Ruby and start building your Sightstone right away. Um, another thing, when you're in lane, just like I said before, you want to tether to your AD carry. So make sure you guys are in the pen diagram together, you guys are within each other's um, radius, as you could say. And when they, if you were to go and engage, if you had any other AD that didn't have a gap closer, it would make it a lot easier for them to be ready to back you up. Alright, so do you have any questions for me? Um... Let's see... I guess not. I mean... I know that there's a million things that like you could do differently. Or better. I'm like this elo, and whenever it's a good game, it's probably... Easier. Be like, oh well, you did this well. Mm -hmm. Um, probably not. I mean, I could ask about like warding and stuff like that, but I mean, that like, goes differently than into just like this game. Yeah. Like, I, I like the the um, recommendation to go and ward for your mid laner. Like, if you have time to do that from mid or from bot. Um, I assume then you wouldn't like just walk down mid lane. You would walk through the. Uh, like a little base gate between mid and bot and like go through that way. Mm -hmm. That way you can go bot in case like somebody, something jumps out or there's a teleport or something on your AD carry. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Yeah, so just go through those base gates, pop a ward down on your, uh, for your mid laner in like the pixel bush or the ramp near there and then go straight back to lane if you can't find a immediate play. Now, immediate play meaning you can get the gank within 5 seconds. You can also do this for top lane. You can go straight from base, like, okay, let's say for example, you just double killed bottom, you know, you're snowballing, you got the kills, you got mobility boots first, and top is shoving to your side of the map, meaning they have more creeps coming towards your top laner. You can just run up there and gank right away, straight from base and snowball your other laners if you you know find that opportunity that they're low and stuff like that now another thing that i can suggest for you especially for everyone else watching um if you want and if you find the opportunity 
go into the enemy jungle and ward their camps. It's very very useful to ward people's camps, especially enemy junglers, because then if you can see where they are, none of your laners will die. It's probably the most underrated thing you can do, especially in lower elos that low, low elo players never do. Super super useful. If you like the way that I want you to ward the enemy jungle camps and where you can find an opportunity to do this is if you know where the enemy jungler was. Let's take for example your top laner just got ganked top and he died. There's your opportunity to go ward. If your lane is shoving towards the enemy, that right there, you should be able to recognize right away that you have um, tempo and that means you have pressure in the lane. They can't follow up on you when you go and roam. Or they'll be like 2-3 seconds behind and they'll miss XP if they don't um, clear that wave. So right there that's already a win for you. These small wins really add up to the, you know winning the entire game. You may not notice it right away, but the immediate cause and effect that you do from this, you'll be able to notice within like 30 seconds, which is really cool. So if you, yeah, it's, in, it's really, it's really interesting low elo because like, let's say, you know, the, the top laner just got ganked or whatever. So you would assume if you looked and the red buff, like on our bot side, was coming up within the next minute, you would assume that, that that their jungler would back and then be red side, like, because his red buff is up, you know? Mm -hmm. But in low elo, people don't even think about that. Like, the, the, the enemy jungler isn't necessarily going to be like, oh, my red buff is up, I need to back and then, like, lie and then be down there to get it. Um, it's just, like, really funny. Because it's, like, all of these things that are, like, the right play and that you're supposed to do. And then in low elo, it's, like, funny because the other people don't play like that you know yeah yeah it's um, super strange it's great but yeah i like that um i just worry to like enter their jungle by myself unless like you said you know exactly where the jungler is and then like i think when i roam i roam too much and i'm gone too long and then i end up being under leveled yeah there is a uh... There's something to learn, I guess. There's two plays you can do. Well, three. There's three plays you can do when you roam. You can gank. You can get shallow vision, meaning just entrances of the enemy jungle, or you can get deep vision, which is either camps or the brushes that are deeper into the enemy uh, side of the map. So. If you were doing a gank, okay. you want it to be immediate, you don't want to waste your time hiding in a bush or something, waiting for them to come out. So anything longer than 5-10 seconds, if you're there, you're missing a lot. You already lost the play. Now the second play that you can do is shallow vision. If you don't know where the enemy jungler is and you're scared you're going to get your ass beat by the jungle or the enemy support or the mid laner collapsing on you, drop those shallow wards so you can either do that in your um on your river or the enemy entrances or if you're really scared like you really like you know the enemy is on that side of the side of the map and you're scared of getting caught then just ward your entrances now for deeper vision deep vision is the plays that you want to make where you have pressure in both mid and bottom lane and uh you know the enemy jungler is on the other side of the map. That play is very beneficial for your team, but it's also very risky for you to get caught if you don't meet the proper requirements for you to get that vision. So you need both lanes to be pressuring, and you need to know where the jungler is. Okay. Unless you have the jungler behind you, there's some exceptions where the jung like your jungler is there to back you up for the vision. Then you can get slightly deeper vision, but it's it's very difficult if you don't know where the jungler is or you don't have good vision to back you up to see the rotation from bot or mid to collapse on you. Cool. Well, I hope this was informative for you. I'll 
clip this and put it on my YouTube for you to take away anytime. Um, also, don't hesitate to ever ask me questions if you, you know, need something with a build or a champion skill order or a playstyle, something like that. You know, I'm always free to answer questions most of the time. Okay, so I can just send you like my OPGG and you can look at like something and tell me like, hey, I would rather done this or you should have like you're doing this wrong apparently because you're losing on this champion or whatever mm -hmm. like OPGG reviews or whatever yeah I do uh, all my OPGG reviews for free so yeah no problems Sweet. sounds good man well thanks I appreciate it no problem thank you for uh, you know supporting the cause and wanting to improve Cool. Well, okay. I will catch you later, Fifty Shades. Have a good one, man. All right, Trans TV, you too. <laughs> All right, guys. That was our coaching session with Fifty Shades. Um, now, I have some meeting thingy at seven, I think. Hold on one sec, I just gotta figure out if I actually have to check it out. Yeah, I'm mostly always free to answer questions. How come you never give me quality advice like this? What? I always give you quality advice. You just don't notice it because I tell it to you all the time. Alright guys, I'm going to take a break for about 10 minutes and then we'll do, uh, we'll stream some video games and stuff. <laughs> 50 shades. Oh man, my hotkeys are not working. How come? Alright, I'll be back guys. <laughs> 